Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will try to solve rational equations that are transforming to quadratic equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In this given topic, so as you can see, I have here two different examples of rational equation in which we will transform these rational equations into quadratic equations for us to solve them. So let us try number one. We have x over 2x minus 3 is equal to 3x over x plus 11. So our what we're trying to do here, guys, is to transform first this equation or this equation into quadratic equation. So the method that I will be using is um, cross multiplication. I will cross multiply this expression to this expression and this expression to this expression. So I will try to multiply 3x, 3x by 2x minus 3, and then equal to x times x plus 11. So I need to use the distributive property, 3x times 2x, that will give you 6x squared, and then 3x Minus, times negative 3, that is negative 9x or minus 9x. Then equal to x times x, that will give you x squared. x times 11, that is plus 11x. And then you need to um, write this equation in standard form or you need to transpose these two terms to the other side of the equation. So if we, if we transpose x squared to the other side, it will give us 6x squared minus x squared because from positive, it will become negative. And this one, copy muna natin negative 9x. And this one, transpose natin. From positive, it will become negative. So we have negative or minus 11x is equal to 0. And then simplifying or combining like terms, 6x squared minus x squared, that is 5x squared. This one, uh, it will give us minus 20x is equal to 0. And as you can see, guys, we have now a quadratic equation in standard form. So we need to figure out, our next thing to do here is we need to figure out if anong method yung gagamitin natin to solve for the variable x. So we will use common monomial factoring. So we need to trans, uh, put out x, 5x, bilang common factor. So 5x squared divided by 5x is x minus 20x divided by 5x, that will give you 4 is equal to 0. Now to solve for the value of x, equate this one by 0, so 5x is equal to 0. While the other factor, x minus 4 is equal to 0. So solve that then. Divided by 5, divided by 5, x is equal to 0. While the other, transpose, x is equal to 4. From positive, it became, or from negative, it became positive. So the values of x are 0 and 4. So I hope now you learned something from the first example. Now let's move on with the second example. We have x over x plus 3 is equal to 8 over x plus 6. So what do we need to do here? Um, we will try to use cross multiplication again. This one. So x, ito muna tayo, ito muna tayo. x times x plus 6. Then ito naman is equal to 8 times x plus 3. So by the safety property, multiplying this, that is x squared plus 6x. Then this one, 8x plus 24. So we need to uh, transform this equation or this quadratic equation in standard form. Transpose that in Sabilato and then also we will transpose this. It will give us the standard form of x squared plus 6x minus 8x plus, oh, sorry, this is minus 24 is equal to 0. And then combine these terms because they are like terms. You have x squared minus 8x 
minus 24 is equal to 0. And considering to solve for this equation, we can use directly factoring. So the factors are x minus, what are the factors? Minus, oh, sorry, um, 6x minus 8x is not negative 8x. This is negative 2, sorry. Negative 2, okay? Again, correction lang ha. 6x minus 8x is negative 2. So what are the factors of negative 24 that can give you the sum of negative 2? That is negative 6. And then x plus 4 is equal to 0. Negative 6 times 4 is positive 20, uh, negative 24. And then six, negative 6 plus 4, that is negative 2. So solving for the value of x, x minus 6 is equal to 0. x plus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose this one, your x is equal to 6. And then the other, transpose this one, it will become negative. Your x is equal to negative 4. So these are the possible values of x in number 2, which is 6 and negative 4. So I hope you learned from this video on how to solve for rational equations that are transforming to quadratic equations. So again, a simple tip lang guys. Um, when you're dealing with this one, hindi naman kailangan um, pahirapan yung sarili niyo. You can think of an easier way to solve any other equations or any other problems in mathematics. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gron. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!